Uh, hopefully we are live. Let's check the feed, shall we? I'm going to wait a few seconds or a few minutes. It says that we are live. But uh, knowing YouTube looks can be deceiving. Okay, it says that we are live. Here we go. I just want to monitor my uh, my feed. That's all. And pay attention to the comments. If it ever gets there. Anyway, guys. With that said. Hand it here. And, uh, yeah. I'm at the Portland house, though. And I got some goodies I want to share with you. And, uh, and why I am upgrading. So... Uh, take this video with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Manfrotto. Manfrotto did not send this to me. I p purchased this with my own money. This is a long time coming. So, um, yeah. And also, I have a brand new tripod I also want to show you guys. But uh, my feed, it's not displaying on my phone, apparently. I'm not getting adequate... Uh, yeah, Wi-Fi has been really, really funky lately uh, with my phone, with my laptop, and I just replaced the, the, the Ethernet card on it too. So, um, yeah, got a really nice one. Now, it goes in it, but it keeps loading. But anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully this is broadcasting. That's what I'm curious about. So... Uh, yeah, with that said, everyone, this is the unboxing, all right? This is the unboxing. Uh, let me make sure that I don't have any audio static in my audio, because that happened last time in the live stream, and that was very odd, and the H4N was doing that, and I wasn't very impressed. Check, check. Sounds good to me. All right, it's going to monitor that audio. That's that's important. All right. So, guys, I wanted to do this in the library, but it's just it's too much blue, too much light. So, this is what is this is how it's going to get. With that said, everyone, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to be unboxing a few things that you're going to be very very impressed. Trust me, you're going to see why I'm upgrading my from my Man Photo 190 Go. Even though the one man the 190 Go Man Photo tripod. Awesome, had it for five years, brilliant, worth the turn in and sixty dollars for it. Definitely worth the buff. But I gotta up the game. I have to continue to use things as a travel photographer and as a landscape photographer, astrophotographer, photographer, cityscape photographer, portrait photographer, micro photographer. I need a tripod that is super light, but also super, super flexible. So, with that said, everyone. Let me put this inside. I also got this. This is a Arcosi carbon fiber tripod. The pros use this. This is coming with a bow. So I'm going to show you why it's going to come with the bow and why this is going to be upgraded to the bow mechanism. So just, just unbox this really quickly. But let me make sure I pay attention to the chats. And uh, guys, please do subscribe. Please do like. Please to share. I'm actually recording this in my in my hostel room right now, so it's, I know you guys were like, "Well, you're making it work," and that's what counts, right? So, with that said, everyone, you guys want to support the channel? Uh, there's a PayPal cash out. Uh, it helps me keep making content like this. So, if you guys haven't been paying attention lately, two days ago I gave away also a tripod giveaway. This is why I was asking you guys to please follow me also on Instagram where you get the feeds where I pop out of nowhere with the Instagram and all you have to do is respond to winners will win. So I send out Jesse uh, a tripod uh, and he's enjoying it. You can check my feed out on my Instagram. Uh, but let's go unbox this really quickly here. So um, as a landscape photographer, I, I, the reason why I want to use this fluid head is because two reasons. I also want to use it for stills also want to use it for videos but I'm gonna modify it 
I'm going to take the spring out, the tension spring. So I don't have that like counterbalance, uh, you know, trying to force this way back when it pushes back a little bit and, or tips forward a little bit. I'm going to take that out because it's important for stills that you, you want your composition the way it is. So when you, if you move it, it stays there. So, but we get the handle, which we're not going to be using. Uh, if anyone needs an extra handle, well, I should keep the handle. Yeah, let me just keep the handle. But, you know, most people, when they unbox these things, I, I figure why not give you guys a, uh, a true experience how the build quality, look at that. That's a really shiny metal. <laughs> That's shiny. Look at that, glistening. I'll do the light. I hope the color, I hope the, the Lux is making it look good. Look at the red accents and the, the handle grip. Oh, wow. That's nice, Manfrotto. That's nice. I gotta give it to you, Manfrotto. That's nice. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be modifying my tripod like I did with the Manfrotto Go with uh, athletics tape or graphics tape with insulation piping foam. I mean, that would probably be in the next video. Because that will probably take a process. That takes me maybe 30 minutes. So. Wow. Okay. Manfrotto. I, I'm kind of curious. Are we playing tic-tac-toes inside the box? Because if, if this is a game. If this is a trick. Just play. I got first corner. Go. I got corners. Go. <laughs> I'm just curious because there's nothing else in here. That was it. Like, I like the boxing and everything and beautiful and, but guess what? I don't like to trash, but I'm going to have to recycle it. So, we are going to take this off as well. We're going to take the head out or the fluid head. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how big this thing is. Now this is going to support 8.8, .8, what is it, 8.8 .8 kilograms? So really beefy. So I'm going to take that uh, tension spring out of here. So I'm going to unscrew these four screws. Take this plate out. There's a screw right underneath here that you need to take the pin because it's locked in. But uh, Thanks for uh, Henry Hudson Photography here in Portland. Gave me that tip. Yeah, he's a really good guy, by the way. Go follow him on YouTube, too. Henry Hudson Photography, yeah. Really good guy. Uh, gave me a tip. I like it. But yeah, you get all these brochures about stuff on Friend Man Photo. I should suggest maybe reading it. You know, make sure that you register your Man Photo product with Man Photo. So keep that in mind. But look at that base. Beautiful, shiny, nice. Well built. Machine precise. That's good about Manfrotto. But there are many, many companies out there that actually make outstanding products just like Manfrotto. Or even better in some cases. Because a lot of not not a lot of videographers always go to Manfrotto. They used to, but as the times go on, videography stuff has, you know, the companies have progressed. And a lot of people from China, from India, from London, you know, you got these indie companies. They come out with some great stuff. So, yeah, man, Frodo, you're gonna, if you, yeah, you're going to come out with some great stuff. But, yeah, this is going to be what I'm going to be using for my L bracket on my Canon 80D. So, yeah, presentation looks nice. Ooh. Now... For the final and unboxing experience, we're gonna unbox this tripod, this carbon fiber tripod. I'm gonna put you guys over here. I'm gonna get the trusty knife. Ha ha ha! Stab the box. Kids, don't do that at home. They take this pretty well. Wow. They really take this pretty well. So, normally if I was at my own home, I would keep these boxes for a reason. But, I can't. Alright, we're going to try to get this open. 
All right, that's one side. All right, that's one side. We're gonna get. Be careful when you open these boxes. As you can see, it's nice. And I got a I got a turntable for you guys. So it's, uh, it belongs to the hostel, but it's not mine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be careful with this one. Ta-da. Put the knife away. Safety store. And this is what I love about a camera manufacturer or a tripod manufacturer that gives you some extra goodies inside the box. Man Frodo, when I got this one that I need to go, I did not have a bag for it. I paid $260 for it and didn't get a bag for it. But guess what? Not picking a bone, just saying, look out for the photographer sometimes. I get a bag. Look at that. Well built. Look at this. And I could probably fit the... the no, I, I don't think I could fit the flu head in here, but it would have been nice. <laughs> it would have been nice. But, we got our side pockets. Ooh, we got accessories. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We got accessories here on the side. We have a... Oh. This is what this tripod is going to be universal for and great for. It has the cup. So, you can angle it easily from the bottom, which I'm going to show you shortly. Hold your patience. Hold your patience. We got some spikes. So, when you do go landscaping, I suggest using these spikes. Definitely use these spikes. And it got some extra uh, quarter. What is that? Is that three eighths? Yeah. Looks like three eighths to quarter thread. And Allen keys. So don't lose these, please. All right. Where's the zipper? Oh, hide enough to use the strap. Wow, there's so much space in here. Look at this. Does this tripod even. I don't think this tripod was meant to be in this bag, to be honest with you. But, and that's a good thing. But, whoo, first, wait, 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 we're going to wait for the, we're going to check out the goodies. We got the strap, which, wow, that's a pretty decent strap. This is a nice strap. Nice strap. Man, photo, why don't I get a strap? I love your products. Why don't I get a strap? So this is basically a, yeah, corded thread, uh, three eighths adapter, so you can mount on a phone or a monitor. This is a phone adapter piece. You guys seen that all all the time. You can get those on Amazon. But the bag itself, nicely padded, ooh, all the way around, even on top, very padded. This is nice. I like this. Can I sleep in this? Probably. That's comfortable. <laughs> and now, guys, moment of the truth. Ooh. Wow. Now that's light. Oh. This is super light. Holy. Wow. Carbon fiber, everyone. Carbon fiber. The only thing that's not carbon fiber is this top part made out of aluminum steel. But the hand grits on here are really big. Bigger than the Manfrotto's. Holy. Yeah, the feet are bigger than the Manfrotto's. Oh, wow. This is, this is like beyond... Like, super amazing. Look, you get the, the cup action on the bottom here. If you can see it in the center. Yeah, that's the purpose. Now, what I am going to do, which... Uh, let me disconnect the mic first.
sorry guys, I didn't want you to hear the disconnect because I know that's annoying to some of you guys. So, but the purpose of this is that this looks like a quarter, one third, one half. This should fit. Yeah, this is perfect. This three eighths quarter. This is a, a piping insulation. This is three fourths. So I'm going to be using a three fourth on this. And what I'm going to do, even though I know this is carbon fiber, but I want to protect my tripods. And also, I want the flexibility to also transport it easily and have the flexibility to put this on my shoulder without any discomfort. So when you put it on your shoulder for quite some time with the other gear and weight, it becomes discomfort. With the extra installation pattern, in with either graphics tape or athletic tape, which I recommend graphics tape because there are some athletic tape that is not waterproof and some that are, isn't that is. But graphics tape is waterproof, recommend it. Buy it on Amazon if you can't afford it at the Amazon at the warehouse local warehouse store because it's more expensive at the local warehouse then you can buy it on Amazon. I purchased three of these for 13 bucks. Athletic tape really works really well. I just remodified the Manfrotto Go one Manfrotto 190 Go tripod. So we're going to be using this. So the first step is to layer this. I guess I can show you how this process. Is, since we are live and show you how this process works because I, I would have to still go to the hardware store and get an extra piece because I don't have enough and this tripod is huge holy moly smolets this is what I'm talking about see this is what I needed a super tall, tall tripod so because my short butt cannot get the height that I want for my shots. And uh, this is great. Look at this. This is huge. This is huge. I might have to like lubricate the legs a little bit. Seems a little dry and stiff, but nice little grip. But wow, look at that. Huge. You can't even see the top. Actually, let me show you guys what this looks like from the bottom. Right, and then if you pan to the top, let me pan you guys back a little bit. See, it's it's pretty tall. It's pretty damn tall. It's very tall. But anyway, look, I can go underneath. But yeah, really nice. So the first step into applying the insulation and the uh, the graphics tape is that the first layer should be either athletics tape or graphics tape. And I recommend doing athletics tape, not graphics tape. Even though there are certain graphics tape that leave a nasty sticky uh, residue, you want something that is not going to leave any residue on your tripod when you want to actually replace it over time. So that's important too. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's start off with... So, I always start from the bottom, right? Because you're going to get this, if you don't start from the bottom, you're going to get this thing, uh, what's it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it would come to mind. Basically, let's say when it rains and you don't layer properly and you do it the opposite way going down, all that water is going to drip into the athletics tape. So... Ugh, brain dead for a second there. So what I'm going to do is like start up a start point here. And what I'm going to do is lay this. The reason why I'm doing this is because when I put on the insulation pipe in, it's not going to slide. This is the, the reason. This is why I say you must get something that's not going to leave any resi residue on your tripod. I'm going to start a point there, and then I'm going to start from an angle again and work my way up. But make sure that you overlap. Make sure you overlap 
nicely though. Hmm. Yeah, that's coming out nice, real nice. Ooh. And it's on a roll here. And you just keep doing this. To get your first layer. Because that's what's important. So this this uh athletic tape, it's resin, it's not gonna stick to the tripod. So if you need to replace it, which you will, after like six to a year. Depends how much you use your tripod as often outside and outdoors, but this is why I say put graphics tape as your last layer over the, the insulation because that's what the seal and it lasts much longer, very much longer. Pro tip, guys, do subscribe, like, and share if you like the content. I'm just showing you the process. How this is done. You, you want to leave some space on top for everything. So there's a reason why. I'm going to show you why in a second after I'm done with this. So I hope you guys are very patient because if you're a photographer, this is a really, really, really good tip for your tripods, especially if you want to resell your tripod as new. This is a great tip. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to measure how much I need for the top. So we're gonna leave some space for a reason of both ends, right? I think right about, I'm gonna do right there with my knife. I'm gonna cut this. You can do a scissors or a razor. This gives me a nice, good cut. Boom. All right. So I'm leaving some space on top because the next step is what I'm gonna do next. Check this out. Start carving the top. I'm gonna like smooth it out. So all I'm doing is just sliding the knife up, carving the top like a turkey. <laughs> so I'm giving it, giving it as like a slope on top. So yeah, this might become a little messy, but it's worth it. So. The tape would stick very well. And see how like, you see how the, the, the insulation piping is not sliding down? That's why you have to, have to, you have to apply the athletics tape first if you want great results from this. Cutting out a slant, cutting out the slant. Cutting at a slight angle. There you go. Doesn't have to be too perfect, but and now we're gonna move this up because this got a great feel up here. Wow, that's. You can tell that's sticking, <laughs> that's really sticking to that, that athletics tape really well. That's, that's, that means you're, you did a good job. If you get that far, that means you're doing a great job. 
Now we're going to do this again. And like I said, we're going to start from the bottom. And we're just going to just cover that bottom, but we're not going to cover the logos of the lock on the tripod because we want to show some indication how to, how to twist this and turn this off just in case you do link your tripod to someone else. And I'm going to pull this really, not too tight, because, you know, but tight enough where. Now, this part you got to pay really attention to as you wrap this around, because you're going to pull at the same time, but not too much, because you don't want to rip the tape. And always do a second layer. Guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share, guys. It's very important as photographers keep the community alive but with that said if you guys want to contribute and support and keep the lights on here there's a PayPal and uh, Venmo and a cash app and we're gonna wrap this up here You get the top. Now, if you need to get really under, just just loosen that leg really quickly. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Look at that, that's beautiful, look at that. And that is what you call position. Look at that. So when it rains, you see how the pattern, I'm not sure you can see it, but the pattern, it, will, it would just drip down. So I'm gonna do a second layout. I'm gonna clean up this bottom here. Now I'm doing a second layer. Now this is the reason why I also recommend graphics tape, even though it's much more expensive. But you don't have to do second layers with graphics tape out. Now what I like to do is add spray water pellet onto the athletic tape. and soak it and leave it dry for two days or overnight if you choose to. Normally that stuff would dry in, but I would also do it if you're going out on a rainy day or a snow day, you know? All right, gotta make sure that's good. Can you guys hear me very well? Let me know if you guys can hear me very well in the comments, please. I really would need to know. All right. All right. That looks good. 
Now you guys get the idea why I want to protect this tripod. And also, it just makes makes holding it and carrying it much lighter. This thing is not, this thing doesn't weigh anything. Oh, great. It doesn't weigh anything. As I said, guys, should I cover this? I'm going to probably cover this one. That means I probably need something larger, but, uh, or I could just remove it, but I don't want to. But anyway, guys, as I said before, guys, this is just, uh, a demonstration as a landscape and travel photographer with a light, you know, covering my face. Uh, this is what I do in the live streams and, uh, it's important. Uh, yeah, so, but I want to actually get this head on. Got done with that. I was just demonstrating that part. So if you guys want to do, actually modify your tripod that way, be my guest. I definitely recommend it. All right. And now we're going to put the big boy on. Oh, wow. This thing dwarfs this tripod. <laughs> Look at, oh, wow. Look at that. This is the, the, the pan. This is the, oh, sorry, fluid drag. Sorry, fluid drag. All right. See, that spring, you see that? We're gonna take that spring out. This is a re good reason why we're gonna take it out. But, there are other photographers that you don't need to take it out. You can always balance it. It is a way it would stay still the way it is. That's true too. This brings more tension. See? It goes up. Even when you tighten it, it still raises up. See? Even when there's a slight weight on it, it still rises up. So the tension has to come out. So, yeah. I'm going to be taking that tension out. It's like, you got to play games with this. See? It's, there's still tension. Look at that, it still raises back up. So this is why I want to take the, the spring out. But man, this thing is dwarfing this thing hard. What do you guys think? You think this is a good buy or what? Because uh, I don't know about you. I think I made a very good choice and a very good investment. So. And yeah, it's gonna work out for a lot of us. And the L bracket, uh, yeah, I ordered another L bracket so I can put it on the Sony. So I don't just have one L bracket. But what I'm going to do is mount the L bracket onto a plate, this man photo plate here, which I don't have to. Come on. Wow. Okay, that's a that's a woozy one for me. Okay, I am releasing. There you go. Jeez. All right. So I'm gonna be mounting the L bracket to this plate. So landscape. Portrait, landscape, portrait, landscape, all one diverse. But I'm also going to have a quick release to play on this top of this here. So, yeah, this is going to make everything work really well. I hope. I hope you guys like my future videos with this setup because uh, this is it.
This is it. This is it. That's it. Like, no more upgrading unless it's a camera. What the? These, these nails, what is going on? That's strange. Do I slide it back this way or do I slide it this way? Or do I slide in this way? I'm gonna read the manual so I don't break this. But it seems like when I slide it in, it's not. Yeah, that's strange. It's not going as smoothly as I anticipated. You know? I took it out, okay. Yeah, it goes this way. But it's not going the way through. See, this is why the tension has to come out. See, this tension? I'm sorry, you gotta go. You are an annoying little piece of sh Yeah, now I can't get this out. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, I slide it out the... What is going on? Yeah, lens. Exactly. This goes in first. Yeah, already. Weird complication with this. It's like... Can you give me this bullshit? Alright. Yeah, this is not working very well. These damn screws, man. These damn screws. Anyway, guys. Don't worry, I be I will be modifying that anyway, so but carbon fiber, very expensive tripod, worth the money. Uh I should have purchased a carbon fiber tripod the very first time if, if I'm gonna spend two hundred and sixty dollars on a man photo. No offense to the man photo, it's done good, but there's some issues with the with the tripod. In my opinion, using it, there are some corkies that I wish it had and did not have. But, yeah. Other than that, I got the tripod and the flu head of my dream. No, not my dreams. But I needed this. So, this is a tension plate when I put the cup on. So, if I did have a cup version of this uh, man photo, I would use the cup. But I will be using it with other ball heads because this won't probably be my only uh, fluid head or ball head that I will use or fluid head kind of mechanism that I will use on this tripod. I mean, yeah. But, yeah. Tripod is well made pretty well. Uh, I got to get some more insulation for them. I, I need to finish this up and make this look nice and pretty and beautiful elegant and sexy and all that good jazz but yeah this has been an unboxing experience and i messed up my room and yeah i hope you guys liked the video uh and hope you guys like the gear that i have but um yeah uh we'll be uh toying around with this for a little bit and getting used to uh using the fluid head the way i like to use the fluid head but with that, everyone, this is Panda, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace in the Middle East. Adios, amigos. Cha-cha-cha. You guys like the shirt? Let me know. The best shirt. Thanks. Thanks, Chi-Chi.